Hard to lose that. Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. This is a um unexpected live. You know, this is a special live. But um, anyway, I'm gonna read from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm gonna read a Bible verse and I'm gonna read a prayer. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are Scott or Scottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. This is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter four, chapter or chapter four, verse twenty-two. Here's the prayer. I can complain about my life and wallow in unhappiness, or I can take action and have a bold faith that God has my back. I can stay stuck in a rut, miserable and whining, or I can move in the direction of God's loving guidance. I can give into weakness and lose all hope, or I can be strong in my faith and find the blessings amidst the lessons, the joys amidst the troubles. So I'm going to read an article on, that I found online, and it's like 25 foods you may want to avoid according to registered dietitians. Hi, Mia Mia. Or, yeah, that's right. From unhealthy fats to artificial sweeteners, these picks don't pack much nutrition. This is by Brielle Gregory. She's the author and this um, article came out on December 22nd, 2021. So I'm going to read the article. I'm not going to be on too long, but I'm going to read the article, what the article says. So I'm going to get right to it. This article was medically reviewed by Mar Mar Marjorie C Cohen. MSRDN, a member of the Prevention Medical Review Board. Avoiding certain foods can be hard, especially when they're specifically designed to taste good. But here's the catch. A lot of the foods we're told we shouldn't eat might not actually be all that bad for us. High strawberries. In fact, What's deemed bad for you might be totally different than what's considered bad for someone else. For example, you might have the idea that things like dairy or gluten aren't good for you because you get an upset stomach or develop a headache after eating them. It's important to understand that foods like dairy and wheat are common allergens, and some people don't tolerate them well says Julie, Julie Andrews, MSRDN. Hi, um, Marva. A Wisconsin-based dietitian and nutrition consultant, but that doesn't mean they are bad for everyone. But while every person has a completely different body and foods that might negatively react to, there are some foods out there that are still worth trying to generally avoid. We're talking about the ones that either don't offer much nutritional value for your body or in some of the worst cases at, actually pose a health risk to you. Here's what to know about which foods you might want to consider staying away from, according to experts. Clearing. Okay, number one, fruit canned, fruit canned in syrup. That's the first, this is the first thing they say stay away from. I'm going to read why, but here's the first thing right here. Y'all can see that. That's the first thing to stay away from. I'm going to say why. The reason this type of fruit is so yummy, sugar, sugar, and more sugar. When a fruit is canned in light syrup or heavy syrup, that means that sugar has been added to the fruit, says Amy Goran, 
MSRDN, owner of Amy Goran Nutrition in the New York City area. Fruit is plenty, plenty sweet on its own, so you don't need any added sugar with it. That said, if you like the convenient convenience of canned fruit, here's some good news. There are canned fruits out there that aren't housed in that sugary mixture. Just make sure to read the ingredient label to make sure a product is canned either in 100% juice or water, says Goran. Neither of these contain added sugar. Okay, number two. Hi, Kalina. Yep, it is, Mia Mia. Yep, it sure is. But number two is vegetable shortening. Oh, I'm trying to show the picture. Okay. Here we go. That's number two. That's the second food to avoid right there. Hi, Chicago. Hi, Hi, Marbell, if I'm saying that right. For bakers out there, that shortening that shortening might be causing your pastries and cakes more harm than good. That's because vegetable shortening contains hydrogenerated oils, which are artificial fats made by adding a hydro, hydrogen molecule to vegetable oils to make them solid at room temperature, says Andrews. But when hydrogenated oils are good for manufacturers because they increase a product's shelf life, they're not quite so good for you. Consumption of hydrogenated oils on a regular basis can increase LDL, bad cholesterol, and lower, and lower high DL, good cholesterol and can therefore increase your risk of heart disease your risk of heart disease says andrews you're actually better off swiping in real butter in moderation while baking instead of using shortening she adds hi hello is chris hi lyric hi dmv diva uh, i like that name because you're her. oh thank you dmv diva some of you, okay, Lyric, I, I think that's the first time I didn't see you in my chat. Welcome. Okay, hi. Okay, the third thing you want to avoid, number three. Here's number three. I'm showing the picture, but I'm going to read it off. It's the third thing you want to avoid. And that says non-dairy coffee creamer. This is another product that contains those hydrogenated oils, says Andrews. Plus, powdered or non dairy liquid creamers also contain high fructose, however you say that, corn, corn syrup, which can be damaging to the liver by increasing liver fat and artificial sweeteners which has been linked to a variety of problems, including G-A-S-T-R-O-I-N-T-S-T-E-S-T-I-N-A-L issues. I guess gas issues. Other alternative corn syrups can have similar consequences on the body, like natural corn syrup, isolated fractals, maize syrup, glucose or fractose syrup, and T-A-P-I-O-C-A syrup. But that doesn't mean you need the next coffee and the benefits that come with it completely. Instead, try drinking your coffee black or substituting non-dairy creamers with almond, coconut, cashew, or, or oat or oat milk, or with organic creamers from grass-fed cows. Okay, another thing that you might want to um, avoid right here, number four, diet soda. Right here. Diet soda is packed with artificial sweeteners, 
which are the main culprit behind why you should avoid diet soda drinks when you can. Those can be even worse than actual sugar, says Shinoli Sorns, MSRDCDN, a registered dietitian at New York City Nutrition. Artificial sweeteners have been linked to both cancer, although larger studies are needed to determine the risk in gas issues and as pertain a key ingredient in diet drinks specifically has also been linked to the development of diabetes, says Sorns. Number five, here's go number five. The fifth thing you might want to avoid trying to um, eat right here. Okay, it says low-fat peanut butter. Nut butters are great for you in large part because they contain beneficial unsaturated fats. But when you start to take out the fat in peanut butter, you not only lower the amount of heart-healthy fats, that you're getting, but may also end up getting a product with extra sugar and filler ingredients, says Gorin. These ingredients are added to compensate for the fat is removed. A good rule of thumb when buying peanut butter, it should be natural and it should only have three ingredients on its label, peanuts, oil, and maybe a little bit of salt, says Gorin. Hi, hi, Sonia Mac. How you? Mm, yeah. Okay. The number six thing is a tailfish. I believe that's how you say it. Tailfish. I don't eat that kind of fish anyway. Fish is a good staple to have in your diet but it's best to aim for eating low mercury fatty seafood like salmon and sardines, which also have beneficial omega-3s, EPA, and DHA, says Gorin. But one fish you may want to avoid ordering when you're out in a seafood restaurant, tile fish, which is high in mercury, something that can actually cause poisoning if eaten in too high of a concentration. Number seven, this, I'm going to show you the picture and then I'll read about it. Here's number seven. Wheat, white flour-based cereal. Yeah, I don't like, I, I really don't drink coffee either. You know, I really don't drink coffee that much either, and I don't like black coffee in general. Yes, those sugary, sweet breakfast cereals are delicious, but look out for whatever or for whether they're made with white flour. These type of cereals are low in nutrition and high in refined carbohydrates, which means that they don't fill you up and they can cause a spike and drop in blood sugar, says Andrews. That in turn can contribute to low energy, mood swings, and cravings. Instead, opt for a higher fiber cereal like Bran Flakes. Number eight, here's number eight. Strawberries top the list of the environmental working groups, dirty dozen foods that are heavily contaminated with P-S-T-I-C-I-D-E-S when converted, conversionally farmed, when they are farmed. The problem with that, aside from the environmental concerns, is that those Pesticides, pesticides can actually negatively impact your health too. Pet, pet, uh, I'm gonna spell it out: P E S T I C I D S, 
and our food can be endocrine disturbing, says Soings. So, Soings. Endocrine dis, disruptors work by binding to our hormone receptors and causing a weaker or more intense effect, which dis, disrupts our hormonal function, says Soings. This can be especially harmful for women who might deal with repercussions like hormonal imbalance or thyroid problems. Okay, I'm going to type that word that I was struggling with. This the word right here. Make sure I spelled that right. That's the word. But um, I'm going to go on to the next one, number nine. I'm about to show that picture. Okay. So number nine, salami. This classic lunch sandwich meat packs more downside than upside because of its cured meat status. Cured meats have been linked to several nasty problems, including hypertension and heart disease, says Andrews. But salami is also high in saturated fat and contains sodium. I'm going to spell this word out. Okay, which can turn into harmful inflammatory compounds that can become damaging to your health says andrews okay thank you sonya i i want to say thank you all for being here you know i appreciate you all for coming in so bear with me but these words remaining words that i cannot pronounce i'm just gonna spell them in the chat if that's okay so y'all can see what they are but number 10, here's number 10. Don't let the word ju juice throw you off. The word cocktail indicates that a juice is mixed with added sugar, says Gorin. This is unnecessary and adds extra calories to your day. So instead of choosing a sugar-rich sugar -rich juice cocktail mixture, to start your morning, opt instead for 100% fruit juice if you really want to indulge. Here go number 11 right here. Eleven powdered donuts. Similar. Similar to those white flour-based cereals, donuts are usually made from refined carbs, which don't provide you much nutritional value, says Andrews. Donuts are also usually deep fried, making them high in trans fats, which can raise your LDL, bad cholesterol, and lower, lower your HDL, good cholesterol. According to the American Heart Association, AHA, this doesn't mean you need to avoid meat. This doesn't mean you need to avoid refined carbs and the donuts that come with them all together. It just means your health will thank you for indulging in moderation. Hi, Chanel. This is number 12. pre-made dough. As convenient as it may be, pre-made dough is high in artificial trans fats, namely those hydrated oils we talked about earlier that are made by adding hydrogen to li liquid vegetable oils to make them more solid, says Julie Harrington, RD, author of the Healing Soup Cookbook. And those trans fats 
aside from affecting your cholesterol, also increase your risk of heart, heart disease and stroke, according to the AHA. Number 13. Number 13, packaged butter flavored pop popcorn. Butter flavored popcorn is made use, using artificial butter flavoring, which can cause inflammation in the body, says Lorraine Kearney, NDTRCDN, dietitian and founder of New York City Nutrition. Plus, if you're if you if you are pop, popping it at home in a microwave bag, those bags are packed with chemicals. Instead, if you're able, try popping popcorn at home in a pot on the stove top rather than using a mass-produced bag. When we make popcorn at home, we have control over the ingredients, says Kearney. Number 14. Number 14, instant noodles. A good rule of thumb, when something has the word instant in its name, it's likely something you're going to want to try to avoid. Whenever I see the word instant, they're doing something to the food to make it instant, says Soins. They're probably stripped it down and take, taken away a bit of the fiber in the stuff that we actually want. Plus the amount of sodium in instant noodles is extremely high and they contain what's called monosodium. Okay, I'm gonna type this word in there. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna type it. MSG, which has its own set of problems. It is a flavor enhancer that is used in a lot of cooking or a lot of restaurants will use it, says Carney. And it is an addictive substance. So we keep going back as a repeated customer. But with it, it can increase hunger and that causes us to eat more. They taste different now any day or anyways. Yeah, they do. I, or no, I don't, well, I don't eat them. So I ain't never, I really don't eat instant noodles. So, but I hear that they don't taste the same. A lot of people have told me that. But here's number 15. Artificial sweeteners. Yes, a, yes, as. Okay, let me type this word. That word, yes, as that word in there, as it might seem, you definitely want to try to stay away from artificial sweeteners. Usually people in the past have said, instead of eating refined sugar, let's try diet soda and artificial sweeteners and all that stuff, says Sorens. But as she mentioned before, Artificial sweeteners can actually be worse for you than your typical refined sugar due to its potential health impact and unknown risks. It's better, or it's better instead to try to eat regular sugar in moderation. And I don't do artificial sweeteners either. I don't like them. I like the real sugar or brown sugar. But here, 16... Number 16, table salt. We're all prone to sprinkling a little bit of salt on our food before we eat it here and there. And while a little bit of salt is okay, it's better to try and opt for sea salt or, I'm going to type this. This is another type of salt I'm about to type in that we could um, substitute regular salt for. And I've seen this a lot in Walmart. That type of salt over your standard table salt. 
That's because table salt has been bleached and stripped of its natural minerals, says Sorns. Plus, it's high in sodium, which can cause inflammation, says Kearney. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't do artificial sweeteners. Hey, K Shaw, I ain't never did. I ain't never did that. And I'm not a big noodle eater either. But here's number 17. Package gelatin. Similar to energy drinks, gelatin desserts are rich with artificial flavorings and sugar that can be harmful to our bodies. They also have artificial colors, which are known. Okay, I'm going to type this word. If I can't say it, I'm going to type it because I don't want to mispronounce it. Okay, which are, are that's what artifact that's what artificial um colors are known as. That word right there I just caused. I just um put in the chat. It says Kearney and a chemical called red, number 40, an ingredient linked to hyperactivity, which has actually caused European countries to issue a warning label on the food saying may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Yeah, that can get the kids um, hyper. Here go another, here's number 18. Microwave, ri microwavable rice. It's easy, yes, but microwavable rice is often teeming with sodium. Sodium. Some of those problems can have 800 to 900 milligram of sodium in one serving, says Kearney. And because most bags contain two and a half servings, and because most of us would definitely eat the entire bag, that quickly adds up to being over 2,000 milligram of sodium in just one setting. The problem with that the American Heart Association recommends eating no more than 2,300 of sodium per day, 2,300 milligrams or MG, which is about a teaspoon of salt per day, says Kearney. So with just one sitting, we've nearly reached a day's worth of sodium, which can make us feel bloated, weighed down, and I'm going to type this word too. This is how we can um, feel after we eat more than one teaspoon of salt per day. Says Kearney. Oh, this is a dangerous one right here. This is something I never drink and never will. I think this is something that's, that took Kevin Samuels out right here. Number 19, energy drinks. That's a no-no right there. Some you don't want to, you definitely want to avoid energy drinks. The reason energy drinks taste so good, they're packed with artificial flavorings and sugar. With a lot of the energy drinks, they can have higher amounts of sugar in it, or they'll use artificial flavors, which can cause a lot of inflammation inflammation of the body says Kearney and when it comes to those energy drinks most companies won't disclose what those artificial flavorings actually are so we could have a blueberry flavored drink but we don't know what chemicals have been used to recreate that blueberry flavor says Kearney okay number 20 and this time I love too. I love ice cream. Let me see what it says. Number 20, low fat ice cream. Don't jump on the pint size trend just yet, especially if you have digestive issues. That's because low fat or diet ice cream replace sugars with sugar alcohols, which when consumed in excess, 
can have a laxative effect on the body, says Kearney. And if you have a sensitive stomach or a digestive tra trait, you will feel those effects even faster, she adds. That's why I said I don't believe in um, low-fat stuff too much. I really don't. I don't, uh-uh. It got to be the whole thing for me or nothing at all. But here's number 21. I love ice cream too, Chris. Man, I do too. But here's number 21. The Impossible Burger. Which, I don't, which I've tried before. It's all right. It ain't the best. Although it might seem like a healthier alternative to your standard burger, the Impossible Burger is made up of tons of ingredients that are completely synthetic, says Carney. The burger also comes with a lot of flavor enhancers in it and is usually made of blend of soy protein, which means it doesn't contain a complete protein and is therefore pretty nutritionally lacking. One thing I'm always weary of is if something has the word trademark, says Kearney. So the Impossible Burger is trademarked. And with those ingredients, you're not always going to know exactly what's in it because of that trademark. Ooh, you're not going to even know the ingredients in your burgers? Nah, that's some, de some definitely to stay away from. This is because I got to know before I eat something, I got to know what's in my food, what they put in it before I eat it. Because I'm not doing that, baby. I like cookies and cream ice cream, too. Oh, thank you, DMV Diva. I appreciate it. And Lyric. But here go number 22. Cotton seed oil. See, I ain't never heard of that. That's the first time I heard of cotton seed oil. I won't be, I won't be trying it anyway, regardless. So, but let me see why they say not to try it. When you're able, it's worth worth, it's worthwhile swiping cottonseed oil for a healthier option like olive or avocado oils. That's because cottonseed oil is a refined vegetable oil, which means it's likely been genetic genetically modified and highly processed, says Sorens. Plus, it's high in omega-6 fatty acids, which can trigger inflammation and has also been linked to heart disease, diabetes, and impacts on... Con con okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to put the word in the chat. Okay. Impacts on that functions if eaten in excess as sorms. Okay, number 23. I haven't eaten this in a long time, but I used to eat it when I was younger. Number 23, white rice. White rice is refined and processed which means it's generally more dis disruptive, destructive, I'm sorry, destructive to your health than alternatives like instant grains or wild rice. The main reason it can have a negative impact on your blood sugar levels, says Sorens. Yeah, I, I think brown rice is better too. Davy, hey Davy. The main reason it can have a negative impact on your blood sugar levels, says Sorens. In fact, because of that impact on blood sugar levels, eating white rice in excess has even been linked to increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes. Okay, number 24. Let's do this. Number 24. This is what's number 24 is. 24, sweet tea. Tea by itself has plenty of health benefits, 
But when you start adding sugar to that tea, it starts to void, void out those upsides. Sugar sweetened beverages are high in yes sugar and don't provide much, if any, nutrition, says Andrews. Plus, many research studies have shown that regular consumption of sugar sweetened drinks like sweet tea can contribute to causing obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease, says Andrews. Okay, and the last one on the list, number 25. Number 25, pre-made pie crust. Sim similarly or similarly to pre-made doughs, pre-made pie crusts contain hydrogenated oils, which can raise your LDL, bad cholesterol, and lower your HDL, good cholesterol, which in turn increases your risk of heart disease, says Andrews. But if you don't have, if you don't have time to make your own pie crust, don't sweat it. Just make sure you closely read the ingredients label to look for hydronated oils. Hydronated oils are a type of trans fat, but even if, if the nutrition can fats panel says there is zero G or grams of trans fat, the product can still contain hydronated oil, says Andrews. This is because if there's less than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving, the FDA allows the manufacturer to label it as zero grams. A past version of this article has been re rewritten, updated, and medically reviewed for scientific accuracy. Okay, and that's the end of it, y'all. That is the end of the article. You know, I don't care about where the author worked and all that stuff. I just know her name is Brielle Gregory. I, I'm not going to read that, where she worked and all that stuff and what she does for a living. Only thing we need to know is that she put this nice article together. Shoot, and I don't know how to do no call-in, Sonya Mac, unfortunately, because I don't have StreamYard. So I, I, I try to do stuff like that when I'm monetized and I'm not monetized, you know, so I still have, I don't have 2000 hours yet. I don't believe so. Nope. I don't, I, I'm close to 2000 watch hours. So I got, you know, a long way to go, <laughs> a long way to go. I put my, um, PayPal in the chat M M M or DMV diva. I put my PayPal in there. Yeah, because like I said, if I had StreamYard and I was monetized, trust me, I would definitely try to do call-ins. That's something I would definitely learn how to do in the future. But now, since I'm not monetized and I don't have the hours, you know, what's the point? You know, I want to be able to be monetized and, you know, have my hours or, you know, have my StreamYard together. But I'm going to type my um PayPal. My PayPal is, I'm typing it now. Thank you, K Shaw. Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on. Thank you, Mia Mia. Okay. I put my PayPal right here. It's in the chat. PayPal. So I hope y'all can see that. Well, y'all should be able to see that. Okay, woo, we almost 40 minutes into this chat. 
So what I just got done reading to y'all is 25 foods you may want to avoid according to registered dietitians. So, but the next live I'm going to do, of course, Monday, I'm going to read two chapters of Managing Your Money book. I'm definitely going to read that. And then I'm going to do another chat. I'm going to do another chat about 20. I think it's called 20 foods that you can eat, that you should eat to live a longer life. So I will be doing a um, live on healthier foods on what you should eat. This one was, this live was about food, foods you should try to, and drinks that you should try to avoid. A future, a future live going to be 20 foods that you should eat to live a longer life. That I'm gonna do one. I'm definitely gonna do one. But the next live I I plan on doing is if I don't do one this weekend, then on Monday night I'm gonna do one. You know, um, reading managing your money. I'm gonna read two chapters of that book. I'm doing pretty good, Sonya. Thanks for asking. I'm doing pretty good. Yep, manage your money Monday. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, it's Chris. Yeah, I'm going to read chapters 11 and 12. That's what I'm going to read. Yep. Thank you, Lyric. See, I'm trying to do something different, you know, besides read and roast people all the time. I want my channel to be different than that. I want to talk about health related things. I want to talk about, you know, finishing up. I want to finish up managing your money which I'm going to continue to do two chapters at a time. So like I said, when I when I finish that book, then I'm going to do healthy smoothie tips. Healthy smoothie tip Monday. I'm going to do that again. Like I said, my I'm going to do I'm I'm going to see how to do that once I get monetized. So it's going to take me some time to get monetized. Once I do that, then I look more into that how to make people a mod. I would definitely do that and, you know, try and find out more about StreamYard. Oh, thank you, K. Shaw. Yeah, I try to do that. I, I, I try to do that. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. And mods, I think mods get wrenches and stuff like that. And I need to learn how to do that. So that's a lot of things I need to learn about YouTube. I just started doing lives, I think in August is when I started doing lives. So like I said, I haven't been doing live videos for long. So like I said, it's a slow grind. It's a process, you know, but I'll hopefully I get it together in due time. But um, anyway, I, I'm going to start going down the chat and thanking all of you one by one for coming by and supporting this live. Okay, Mia Mia, Fresh Strawberries, Marva, Kalina, Marvel, or Maybell, Mari, if I said that right, Chicago. Hello, it's Chris, Lyric, DMV Diva. Uh, who else? Sonya, Mac. And I think that's all. I think that's all of you that I named in the chat. Absolutely, that's all. Oh, Chanel. Uh, who else? Okay, I hope that was okay, oh, Shaw. Yep, that I believe that's everybody that I named. I believe that's everybody. Oh, Lou Madison, how you doing? I didn't even see you. Welcome to the chat. For so in being in peace, so I cannot have the Oh, well, yeah, I don't eat a lot of soy or I don't eat a lot of um, beans and, and peas and stuff like that either, Lou. I don't eat a lot of that stuff either. So, oh, Davey, thank you for coming. Yeah, I, I, I like brown rice too, especially on chicken and rice. Yeah, welcome to the chat, Lou. This is the first time I noticed you in my chat. Davey, welcome back. But yeah, I think I thanked everybody for coming. And I put my PayPal, my PayPal in the chat too, if any of y'all seen that. My PayPal. 
Okay. Anything else anyone else have to say before I get off this live? We're 40, almost 45 minutes into the live. Is there anyone else or anything else you all have to say before I end this live? I give you a second to, you know, say your last words, your last comments. Because there's 10 people in the chat and 19 likes. I like that. I really like that. I appreciate that. It means a lot, you know, to have more likes than people. So that feels good. Yeah, thank you, Sonya. Yeah. Yeah, my uncle's funeral is next week on Monday. So I'll be fine. You know, I'll get through it. But um, thank you, um, K. Shaw. Overall, how did you all think I did? Did y'all think I did a good job with this live? Did y'all think how you guys think I did? I know K. I know um K. Shaw. You know, said I did good. Villagers Norris. Um, villagers. Norris Villagers. That's a new one. Villagers. I I noticed you said that before in the chat. Oh, yeah, we got a name for us. Mm, yeah, Villagers. That's new. But um, thank you, Lyric. Thank you, Sonya Matt. Because I know, okay. I know, so, uh, thank you. Thank you, hello, it's Chris. Yeah, I know you all. Um, well, you all should, if y'all have pages or whoever have pages, y'all should check each other out. You know, Maybe the go subscribe to each other, learn more about one another, support one another, share love is a good way, the YouTube way. You know, let me see. DMV Diva, did you get my um PayPal? Cause I put it in there. It's paypal.me slash my full name. N-O-R-R-I-S-E-U-S Tony T-O-N-Y. So I put it in the chat. So you're going to have to squirrel back up in the chat. I put my PayPal in there. You welcome, DMB Diva. In the chat. Thank you. Yep, I want to thank you all for coming. It's 47 minutes into the live. You know, I, I hope you all, eight people and 19 likes. That's great. But overall, I hope you all like comment, subscribe, share the video if you like. Oh, here's our shirt. Only God can judge me. That's the name of my shirt. I got it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Hello, it's Chris. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, like I said, I know for sure. Let me see. I know for sure I will be back on Monday to do managing your money monday oh happy birthday to your mom chris happy birthday to her you know happy birthday chris's mom i hope she had a great birthday i'm glad you still have your mother because i lost mine when i was 19 and that was in 2004 so i'm glad you still have yours Mine would have been 69 this year had she lived. Yep. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 38. I think she would. Yeah, 69. My auntie birthday as well. Okay, happy birthday, auntie. You know, your mom and aunt, are they sisters or are, are, are they on a different side? Of you? Like, is, are you... um? Your mom and aunt, are they sisters on the same, on your mom's side? Or is that your mother's sister or is that your father's sister? Oh, thank you, Chris. But um, anyway, yeah, happy birthday, um, auntie. You know, to Chris's aunt, happy birthday. Okay, they are sisters. Okay. Okay, so that okay, so she not your aunt on your dad's side. Okay, so that is your mother's sister. Okay, wow. What they twin sisters? 
you know, or is one older than the other. But um, yeah, that's good. If they twin sisters, that's good. Or one or whatever. I mean, it's good to share a birthday with your with somebody that you love and care about, especially your sibling or um any family member. Y'all can celebrate your birthday together. But um, oh, they're not twins. Okay. But um, anyway, you know, it's 50 minutes into the live. Happy birthday again to Chris's aunt and sister or and mother. I think we are the village or Norris villagers. Okay, Norris villagers. It, it is. Okay, they just sister. That, okay, they just sisters. That's it. Okay. All right, okay, eight people in the chat, 19 likes. I appreciate you all for being here. I love and appreciate you all for your support. I will be back for sure Monday night to read Managing Your Money, chapters 11 and 12 at about probably 10 o'clock. I'll let you know earlier in the evening. You know, so anyway, I want to thank you all again. I love and appreciate you all already said that. But um, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like, and you all have a great night and a great weekend. Peace.